Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Kia. Um, I'm gonna actually record this video, but realize I recorded it wrong on my computer, so now I have to do it all over again, which is fine. Um, I'm going to learn to talk slower. That's usually a complaint from a couple of people that I talk too fast, so I'm gonna talk slower. And as you can see from the title, this is going to be the unpopular opinion about the Central Park Karen situation. If you don't know, Central Park Karen is a woman who lied blatantly lied to the police um, about a black man threatening her when he hadn't really done anything except just being annoying. Um, and it could have gone completely differently, but she took it to the racist, crazy place it didn't need to go. So I honestly hate this situation. My lips are so dry. Oh, God. <laughs> I honestly hate the situation from the very, very beginning of it to the very, very end of it. To the very beginning of it. This woman is out with her dog. Um, she took her dog off the leash in this area that's with a sign that says, you know, you need to keep your dogs on a leash in this area. And there's another gentleman um, who is a bird watcher and he a birder. He's an African-American man, Harvard graduate, so on and so forth, accomplished African-American guy. So he goes up to her and asks her to, you know, politely, according to the article, can you just put your dog back on a leash? OK, fine. You asked her to put the dog back on the leash. Uh, no big deal. I, that has happened to me before um, with, with people in our neighborhood, in our front yard, and people out and about because our dog is off leash trained. I usually tell them, I usually do it and then take them off as soon as people walk away. Or if I'm home, I'm like, you all need to get out, get away from our yard. Our dog is playing fetch right now. We do not have him on a leash because we're tossing a ball back and forth to him. We're letting him stretch his legs. He's an older dog. He does, my, our dog hates the leash. He will literally be walking with it on and then he will lay in the grass. Sometimes he'll work with it. Sometimes he's just like, no, this is not my life. I'm free to be me. I know how to, how to walk. So instead of the woman just doing what any normal person would do, putting the dog on the leash, waiting for him to walk away, he's a bird watcher, so he wasn't going to walk away, or just saying, I'm not putting my dog back on the leash. And I mean, it should just end it at that. She refused. So then he decides to pull out his cell phone. I am not sure what the point of pulling the cell phone out in the first place was, I, if that would have happened to me, I would have been annoyed too. Like, why are you recording me, you loser? Like, I'm not putting my dog on the leash. Like, what is your what is your deal? Like, I get it, find me, call the police, call whatever Central Park Association there is. I don't really care. Like, you get a fine, it's a couple of dollars. Why are you recording me? What is the point of this? She then gets aggressive. Like, she gets annoyed and frustrated, which, which anybody would have. I would have been like, why are you recording me? I would have given a middle finger to it and taken my dog somewhere else. She then decides to escalate this from just two people being jerks towards each other to now she is being completely ignorant, problematic, a-hole for no reason. She pulls out, well, first she tells him, I'm going to call the police and tell an African-American is, is threatening me. Which is, wow, Karen, that that really just easily came out of your mouth that you're threatening him with police, which the way it came off to me, you're threatening him with police violence. Like, I'm going to have the cops come and help me like their task rabbit and beat you up because you won't leave me alone. Complete, it, doesn't, it, 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 it baffles my mind that white women still do this, even while there's a camera in your face. There's a camera in your face. What did she think was going to happen with the footage? That always confuses me. I get it, you know, you wanna say your certain things and be nasty and be racist, but once you see the camera come out, shouldn't you stop? Wouldn't most people stop when they're doing something bad and they see a camera in their face like, oh, okay, oh, I wasn't doing anything? She continues. She calls the police and says to them, with her full Academy Award winning, I'd like to thank the Academy, you know, mindset that, this black man, this African-American man is threatening me. He's threatening my dog. He's doing this. He's doing that. She's shaking down. She's crying. It's a full on, it's an Oscar worthy performance. I'm well, MTV movie award worthy performance, you know, but she calls the police. Mind you, she's saying the dog is being threatened as she is dragging the dog across the room. And by room, I mean, she's dragging the dog across the park floor or whatever. She keep, and in the article, one article that I saw said that the dog was trying to get Mr. Cooper or thrashing at Mr. Cooper. No, the dog was trying to, like they were making it seem like the dog was trying to protect its owner. That was not the case because one, Mr. Cooper is not just recording. Yes, being annoying, being an a-hole a little bit, whatever, fine, but he's not doing anything. He's standing there with his camera phone, not bothering anybody, just being annoying with the camera. The dog is not trying to attack him. 
protect her. The dog was trying to get away from her because he is now, she's now so aggressive towards him. She's got the dog in the, the uh, by the neck, by the collar, instead of just putting the leash back on, she's still holding it. And the dog's trying to get away because it can't breathe. It's trying to snatch away because it can't breathe. And she's now getting tighter and tighter where she's now dragging it because it can't walk because she's got the, the everything up here. It was it was more torture for the dog. At this point, put the dog back on the leash to protect the dog. Because now you look nuts. You look nuts. So the cops come. The cops don't care. Of course they don't care. Why would they care at this point? The cops are, I think the co cops are not realizing that Karen is a real thing and they're tired of the BS as well as everybody else is. And I'm pretty sure, I don't even think the man needed to show the video at this point. When they walked up on her and walked up on him, they're like, why? I would just, if I was a police officer, like, why are we here? Why are we here? Oh, well, he told me to put a leash on my dog. He was threatening you. He was threatening me. So he was threatening you, but he stayed here the entire time. And it, 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 to me, as a, if I was a police officer, it would have blown, blown me away. He probably showed the video. The cops were like, we don't care. We're, we're, we're leaving. So that's the first part of the incident. The video then gets posted online and goes viral, like these videos always do, which again, Karen's of the world. Stop being Karen's or this is what happens. There's nothing more, you know, I guess not aggressive, but nothing more um, research worthy than black Twitter. Black Twitter will get you. It is a real system. They found this lady's LinkedIn page, found out where she works, and started blowing up her job, saying that they need to fire her. This large company, Franklin Templeton, who where she works, had to put out a statement about one employee, which is very sad that, that this giant company that runs, hires all these people, has all these people working for it, and has to put a statement for one person. That had to be a weird thing for their PR department to go, you want us to do what about what crazy person? Who? What? Like, I would have been confused with PR person just saying, like, this is so dumb. Like, can we can we just fire her? But they don't fire her. They put her on administrative leave. And people are saying, you know, why wasn't she fired? I'm pretty sure there is some extra steps that you have to take to fire people from certain companies for how long they've been there, if they have different packages, whatever is going on. I, I'm going to give them that benefit of the doubt. Um, will she be fired? Most likely. They, she, she probably will be fired by the end of the month. She won't work there anymore if they are not waiting out so that she resigns. Because if she resigns, then she can still get most of her retirement package and whatever else she was going to get. So maybe they're waiting on that. I don't know. But there's some behind the scenes to this. What gets annoying is that now people from Twitter have found the information of other people who have worked there and are now emailing those people on LinkedIn, calling these people's desk, calling Franklin Templeton. For no reason. These random employees at this company can't do anything about her. So you all calling them and, and, and messaging them on LinkedIn, what is the point of that? Twitter, I mean, I get it. You guys did a good thing. You found out her first name and last name. You contacted her employer because somebody who has that type of mindset should not be working at any major company. A person like, like uh, Central Park Karen should not be working around, should not be around people in general because you, they're unpredictable. And unpredictability can lead to danger. And that is what she is. So today she puts out an apology. The apology is only because the video got released, which again, Karen's, these videos always get released. You always end up in this point and nobody buys your apology. Nobody bought this woman's apology. I didn't buy her apology. It was, it sounded so, I'm so sorry because I got caught. That's what it should have said. I'm so sorry that everybody found out that I'm a really crappy human being. That's what it should have said. But I humbly apologize to this man and his family. No, 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 no. No, no, you don't. You're sorry that now the entire world gets to see your true colors. And everyone calling her Central Park Karen, she's not Central Central Park Karen. What she needs to be called is whoever the woman is who include who um, accused Emmett Teal. Let's call her that. Your Central Park, I think that woman's name was Cheryl or something. I'm not quite 100% sure, but let's call her that. That's what she was. She called the police because she was hoping that the police were going to be able to put him in his place. How disrespectful and awful is that? That you you call these people to arrest him, harm him, something. You use it as a threat. And it's, it's disturbing on so many levels. And like I said, I hate the situation. Like I said, from the very beginning to the very end, but it's Karen's side that took us to a dangerous point. 
Would she have been happy if this man would have gotten beat up by the police? If she would she have been happy if he gotten arrested? Would she have been happy if he would have gotten killed? Like for the Karens out there who are doing this as a black person, what what is your goal for us? We exist with you. We don't bother you. We're we're getting arrested and killed for doing basic things. We're getting killed in our sleep with our excuse me. We're getting killed in our sleep because you guys got the wrong address. We're getting killed in our we're getting killed for running or checking out houses that are being constructed. Which by the way, we all do. I have gone into so many houses that are being under construction. It, it it's crazy. But we're getting killed for doing regular everyday stuff because you don't like it. Yes, I will, like I said, unpopular opinion. That guy shouldn't have put, pulled his camera out and recorded her about the dog. He should have mind his own business and found somebody someplace else to watch the birds. Fine, I will give you that. He's annoying. So what? It does not mean that he deserves to die. It does not mean that he deserves to have police called on him because you didn't like the fact that he asserted some kind of whatever you want to call it to make you put your dog on a leash. It's it's crazy to me how this continues to happen. You want to be racist? That's your business. That, that's on you. Be racist. I can't stand it. I don't want to be around it. Nothing. But at least be smart enough to not do it on camera and then have to then put out your fake apology. I would have more respect for these women. I'm sorry. Again, I'm probably dependent. if they would have got recorded been like, yeah, you're recording me. I don't care. And then when the video gets dropped and saying, yeah, I said it. Like, hold your ground if you're going to be this ignorant. Don't don't try to feed the, the black people, other people's fake apologies. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. No, you're not. You're not sorry. You're absolutely not sorry. You're sorry that the rest of the world gets to see who you truly are. And that's my opinion about it. So I'm ready to get the conversation started. And I want to hear other people's opinion because I do have my show, Mocha in the Morning, on Fridays Live. And I want to get other people's perspective. So I have a whole well-rounded conversation to have with my other um, show members. And again, this is my opinion. If you think I'm wrong, you think I'm wrong. I'm fine with that. But this really is my opinion about the whole situation. I'm glad everybody was, was, was safe. I'm glad that woman's dog was taken away. I'm glad that black men didn't get arrested. I'm glad the police probably looked at her like, if you bitch, get out of our face. We do not care about this. And I'm glad she's having to deal with the consequences that she's having to deal with. This is what happens. Karens of the world, cut it out. This is what happens when you do stuff like this. There are, there are video cameras now. People record you. People don't want to deal with the garbage. So that's it. Let's get the conversation started. Drop down in my comments, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I think you have to hit a bell to get notified of new videos, maybe. I don't know. I only do this for fun. Um, find me on Twitter at Kia Shakur and find me on Instagram I, and I'm at I am Kia Giovanni. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.